the summer. Up the backfield, three receivers stacked off to the left, and they get to C.J. Baxter, the true freshman back against Nick Saban's defense. Like, movements like that make this defense have to communicate and adjust. We'll take it to Baxter, pitch it to Xavier Worthy, and the speedster. How quickly he reacts to that play. Hand the ball off, and kind of bounce it is Baxter. These second downs are stacked to the right now. They don't pressure yours. He's got some space. Can he get there with his legs? Yes. Scrambles and dives. That Moore is who's banged up but playing. He's kind of the, the quarterback in that back end. Play action. Yours has plenty of time. Scans and checks it down to the tight end. Jatavi. We're going to hand it off to Brooks. He plows across the right. Texas in the red zone. Another area they need to improve from a year ago. On the trick play, Adonai Mitchell makes a cut and bangs downfield, loses the ball, it came out at the end, and Jatavian Sanders, the tight end, falls on it to prevent a turnover. I think Caleb Downs, the true freshman, knocked that ball out. He'll come in late, Malachi Moore right there, he's actually Moore ends up getting it, Downs hits him, but I think it was Malachi Moore. Second and five, Baxter. Off the pump fake, has it on the edge, a big collapse. That's what cost him last year. Ewers scanning, batted up in the air, and a diving attempt incomplete. Ewers on the move, flips it short, catch made, first down, converted. Hand up. And nowhere to... Like you're done here. No. You, gotta, you gotta punch this thing in, and it's what Alabama's defense takes pride in, is these goal line stands. Viewers. Long throw to the end zone off the hands of Xavier Worthy who had a touchdown. It was a beautiful throw. And now it's fourth down. Here comes the field goal team. Just a great route. He, he's in motion before the snap. I think McKinstry thought he was going inside. He immediately puts his brakes on and goes back to the outside. You'll see him motioning. Now he comes back, caught him, really out leveraged him. Through a lot in Austin just a couple years. Downfield shot launched for Worthy, and it's income. The strength of viewers a year ago throwing the deep ball. 0 for 7 from beyond 20 yards against Rice. And it's tough to move the ball against. You can stop the run with two safeties back. You're, you're going to have a long night. Third and seven, typically no fun for opposing offenses. A rush for viewers has time. Flips it, completes it, and a first down. Jordan Winnington. Made the catch, absorbed a hit, and moves the six. Really good route, but nice job with the pocket presence. Here's your route right here, but watch watch how Ewers kind of navigates the pocket. Doesn't panic, works it, keeps his eyes downfield. Outstanding route there on third. Tip of the cap for holding up on third down. And Worthy, it's a backwards pass. He can throw it, launching downfield, contested. At Worthy, thinking about that quick throw to him, got out of position just by about a half step. So Texas back in Bama territory, Ewers from the pocket. Now he'll loft one downfield, a ton of air, running underneath it. Worthy's got it for a touchdown. The deep shot this offense has been seeking desperately. They strike from 44. What a throw by Ewers. And a great read. He's looking right here to read the safety key. And if he bites up on this underneath route, he's going to take a shot. You can see how he feels. Okay, I got him where I want him. Let's put it up in the air, one on one against the freshman. And he Glad you're with us. Texas from the seven, up seven. And the delay, Baxter just rest cost him that win a year ago. Jaden Blue is in the backfield. He's got the ball on the edge, gets a block, and is knocked down. Out four backs trying to replace he and Roshan Johnson. Blue again. Swarm stacked to the right. He was looking that direction. Hit as he throws, but it's complete across the middle. And it is big Jatavian Sanders. 
making an impact here in the first half. First down to the 40. Helmet on a helmet. Good speed there in space. Worthy again. You got a play call. Sark is trying to do. And they fake it. Worthy on the end around. Cuts underneath. Saved a huge play. Maybe a touchdown. Yeah, he had a convoy. And Worthy's in the backfield to the right of viewers on this third and four. Different look. They fling it to him. Creative ways to get number one the ball. Who bounces off two men. Gets a first down to the two. Playing fast again. Brooks a swing pass. Tenth play of this high tempo drive. Baxter tries to bounce it. Patience. And couldn't get fresh bodies in there, could they? Because of that tempo, Baxter just powers and muscles for another first down to the 13. And Bama not even getting to You can see they're frustrated. They want to get the call in. Thinks there's some miscommunication right now with Alabama just trying to get the call in. You can see that defense frustrated. They didn't get lined up. Look at the defensive line. You got open gaps there. Good job by the freshman bouncing around. On the edge, catch made by Whittington, and he's going to be tackled. Now back in the be a factor as we grind on here. A lot of traffic in the backfield. Ewers flips it, and it's broken up beautifully. Kool-Aid McKinstry came flying across to prevent what looked like a touchdown. Boy, outstanding poise here by McKinstry because he sat back. Read the quarterback size. They tried to troll the entire Alabama defense to the offense's right. He stayed home. Recognized the back brook slipping out. Almost made it a trickier proposition. Third and ten. Pressure. Ewers escapes. Makes a move and will stumble forward. Will be stopped at the ten. And an aggressive attack. It surprised me if they don't do that with two minutes to go in those timeouts. Baxter. He'll be wrestled down after two back look. Ewers back to throw. Flips it across the middle and it's incomplete. Low throw. Fake it. And a high throw worthy couldn't come out. So that one just got out of the hands of Ewers. Malachi Moore's quarterback made some magic in the fourth quarter. Texas now back to work. And the freshman is tackled behind the line. Has not been very productive for Texas tonight. 43 on the ground. Second and 15 to get it to the perimeter quickly. This is an effective way to use Baxter, who gets back near the original line, is considering the opposition. But this is tough, needing 11. Four-man rush, Ewers steps up, flips it away, it's just over there. Meanwhile, another crucial situation for Ewers to take care of the football down here. They're going to throw it on first down. They launch it one-on-one, -on -one. going up to make the catches. Adonai Mitchell, wow, contested, and he beat Kool-Aid McKinstry. Oh, great rally. Are you kidding me with the throw? <laughs> How about Ewers? How about Sark calling this? Throws the football up in the air and over top of the corner. Great job. Goes at their best TV. Yours. Oh, they stuck a man wide open, and it's Sanders. Eludes a man. Oh, just stumbled down. McKinstry just got enough. Different guy from where he was a year ago. Needs six. Keep the drive going. Pressure picked up. Worthy goes up in the end zone. The teenager wins her first major. They take it to Brooks. Ewers looking across the middle, and it's incomplete. Waiting for the football. Early downs, he's able to dislodge that ball. And they'll run it off the left side on second down, and Brooks almost broke. And they're going to try to sneak it away. Now Ewers, bad at noise, right back to him. Weird stuff is happening. The quarterback on the reception will scamper out. Brooks made that alert scoop. That could end. 
Ewers has time, but it's incomplete. Try to get it to Mitchell in head. Coach putting it on the line. And Brooks fighting. I don't think he got there. Dallas Turner. Feels like penalties are a big factor too. Ninth for Alabama. Ewers still has it. And finds his tight end. Sanders. Big man. Rumbling free. Gets a block. Stiff arm. Lowers the shoulder. What a run after the catch for this athletic tight end from Texas. Boy, does this open up off after the play fake. Baxter, the freshman, goes out into the flat. Play fake. Ewers. Slam. Touchdown, Mitchell. What a response by Texas. Bama scores the first touchdown of the night. Texas trails for the first time. Three plays, 75 yards. How do you do to reclaim the lead? Caleb Downs, the freshman, who's going to be a superstar. He has his eyes in the backfield. What I love here is watch Ewers wait for the right time. Let him clear the freshman, and he throws it right behind. Now Texas trying to punch it in to stretch this to double digits. Worthy in motion. Brooks. Fights to the end zone in Texas. Quickly cashes in to build the lead. Trouble in the second half. Screen. Sanders again. Tight end takes off. Look at the big man move. A flag comes flying in. This will be against Texas. A scrum at the end of the play. The left tackle, as you saw with Chris Banks, grabs on. To the defensive back the ruling space. On the, field, the player was down. They'll review that. There'll be a spot foul. Jatavian Sanders, his ability to just release from the line with such quickness. A big man moving fast. What a weapon he is. Holding on the offense. Number 78. Ten yard from the foul. You got a big tackle and Banks trying to block Kool-Aid McKinnistry, which is a tough thing to do. And he gets around him, so that's his answer. But you're right, Chris, about Sanders. I mean, you, you look at one of the premier 15 instead of being in Alabama territory. Brewers scampers, and that's a throw it in the ground. Nobody open and Tim Keenan. Empty backfield against the three-man rush. Ewers throws across the middle and has Jordan Whittington, and he's still going. Whittington breaking tackles and diving down into Alabama. Ewers over 300 yards off the left side. Baxter plows forward. That's very near the marker inside the 40. Yeah, and Sark's a, a run first, set up the pass type of guy usually, but he knows how hard it is. Yeah, very pass heavy tonight. 24 runs, 37 passes. Here's a handoff inside the back, so that's how they don't throw it on first down and pick up just a yard. And tonight. Lewis from the pocket, launching downfield. Mitchell. Brooks off the right side, and he's still trying to push the pile forward, right? What up and sell out against this run game right now? Crucial to get off the field here and not let Texas move the chains and chew the clock, but they do that. First down, Jonathan. Brooks off the right side. Look, you come into this place, and they're down to just one timeout, Alabama. So serious urgency to get the stop here as Brooks um, you run the ball you keep the clock going they're out of timeouts I think he's trusting yours I think he's going to try to throw this ball and pick up the first in the game or not well they hand it off to pick up the first down and perhaps in the game Brooks with a burst and the Texas offensive line and skilled people beginning to flex out there I think maybe Alabama's thinking the same thing look at this you got it. motion, DB running with him, nobody in the middle. Because of the formation, they put six defensive backs on the field. The parting of the Crimson Sea. You can't stop Texas. Elon Robinson for about three. But that's what you do, you know. And 
Well, this schedule is filled with a lot of challenges, but a lot of opportunities to stack up some quality wins. They may have at Mississippi State. Those are the next three, so perhaps a chance to evaluate. Meanwhile, it's third and seven. Will they run it again? Yes, it's Brooks, and this time to be dragged down a couple of yards short at the 35 and that 43 to just keep it and start kneeling down. Alabama there you go. jumped there. It's kind of fitting. 